Yarns are not always so strong as we might think, guys. That's why spinners, weavers and dyers use oils or waxes to improve them. Let's see that together. One of the problems of regarding yarns is that yarns are very thin. Take for example this 100% cotton yarn over here is very weak and I can easily remove the fiber from the yarn. That's why oils and waxes are used, just to improve some mechanical features on the discontinuous fibers. Oils and waxes are used for man-made fibers and natural fibers. Perhaps you won't need oil or wax for a stainless steel yarn, but it's not a common case. All you need to know about oiling and waxes is that these chemicals actually improve the tenacity and the strength of the yarn. Oils also reduces the friction levels of the yarns and they can be easily washed out. Regarding wool, ensimage oils and solid paraffin waxes are used because wool has some scales and these scales can spoil the correct flow of the yarn during the weaving process. Friction levels, if too high, can really ruin your fabric. In textiles you can also calculate the friction levels of the yarns and if the friction levels is above 0.3 actually there is too much friction and the yarns will break. As for polyester anti-static oil is used. Why? Because polyester is basically plastic guys and anti-static oil is very important to remove or to limit static electricity. The problem regarding static electricity is that it can ruin the, your dyeing process or it can spoil your weaving process. As for cotton, solid paraffin waxes are used. They can be blue, orange, white, yellow and so on. Each color has different features, different setting points, different penetrations and so on. Also the amount of wax must be very balanced. If you use too much wax that's not good for the yarn. Remember guys that all waxes or oils and all paraffins are chemical products so they have a safety data sheet and they must be rich compliant because they can contain hazardous chemicals. Before dyeing it's very important to perform desizing through some desizing agents to remove these paraffins and oils from the fabric or from the yarns or the dye stuff will not penetrate deep into the fiber. Vice versa after dyeing it's very much important to re-oil or re-wax your yarn or fabric to give it better mechanical properties. That's why waxing and oiling are performed before and after dyeing. Is it always necessary to use oils, paraffins and waxes? Absolutely not guys. Remember that during weaving process normally waxes and oils are not so much used because during warping sizing agents are used. But during knitting actually the yarns go directly into the machine so yeah some oils is always some necessary. But it depends on the cases of course. What happens if I don't use the oil and I weave directly the fabric? Actually this is a very tough question indeed. Your yarn actually will break. And what happens if the yarns break? I have a sample over here guys. This is a tablecloth. This is a woven fabric and we will see through the lens what happens if the yarn breaks. Let's see that together. So as you can see guys here a weft yarn is missing because the yarn broke so the loom stopped and this actually can increase your defectiveness of the fabric causing a weft missing. The missing weft actually is just an example guys but yarn breaks actually can spoil your fabric in different ways. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, please thumbs up to the video and yeah, if you have any comments or any questions you will find my details below and as usual stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.